Hi, Randall here from Massage Biz Help. In this episode, we'll be sharing several unique ways of using your business cards to grow your massage practice with no or low cost strategies. Let's have you driving more prospects and referrals through your massage practice door. Stay tuned. One of the first marketing investments that most massage therapists make for massage marketing is a business card. There's no denying that this little piece of cardboard when used properly can be an effective word of mouth advertising tool. Knowing how to use business cards so that you can grow your massage practice is the real challenge. Let's look at your business card use from the perspective of what to say, what to write, what to do, and what to track. Unfortunately, many massage therapists don't spend the time to truly connect with a prospect they randomly meet on the street, waiting in a line, or at an event. When they do strike up a conversation, they don't take the time to ask questions that'll find a point of common ground. More often than not, without a common connection, the conversation will go nowhere, which is why you should be looking at ways of assessing your prospect's needs before determining if you could really help them with your particular massage services. This should be done by asking open-ended questions. For example, what do you do for a living? Or, what do you enjoy the most about your profession? Or, what are your two biggest health challenges? Questions like these allow you to quickly get to know the prospect. And should you strike up a conversation with someone who may not need your services, you could simply ask for a future referral by saying something along the lines of, Last week we launched our newest massage treatment package geared for those who spend long hours working at a desk. We have a special value package for the rest of this month. Should you hear anyone mention that they're tired, overworked, or complaining of back pain, think of me. Please pass on my business card so that I might help them with their discomfort or fatigue. As you can see, educating contacts about what you could potentially offer is a major step in any networking process. Hello, Cindy here. Before you pass on your business card, there are a couple of things that you should be monitoring. It's important to jot down a few notes about your prospect. Either ask them for a business card or use the back of one of your own. Should you receive a card from them, glance at their name and then try to use their name repeatedly in the conversation to further connect with them. Also, place a few notes about your conversation on the back of the card, such as the date, location, and whether or not you could help them with their personal health issues or if they might be a good referral candidate. Now should your new contact not have a business card, pop out two of yours. Yes, two cards. By handing out two cards, you're subtly encouraging your prospect to share one of the cards. And to make the experience memorable, jot down a special tracking code or note on the back before handing them your card. This subtle action creates the perception that they have a unique opportunity to check out. Which brings us to what to track. There are two pieces of info that your business cards can provide. Number one, a few notes about who might be a prospect or a possible referral partner. And number two, how certain marketing endeavors are unfolding. Rather than relegate newly received business cards to your desk drawer, how about sending out a personalized letter within the week to stay connected? Nurturing potential clients or referral partners this way ensures you remain top of mind. For your personal business cards that have some sort of promo code or note, you now have a means of tracking specific marketing efforts. To track your marketing campaigns, try placing a simple promo code or word on the back. 
then it's just a matter of training your receptionist, should you have one, to keep track of those clients coming to you from various sources. You now have a means of rewarding your top referral partners, knowing which networking events are producing tangible referrals and where your word of mouth advertising in your local community is paying off. We hope that at least one of these quick massage marketing tips will resonate with you. Should you like to learn more about how to grow your massage practice, then visit us at Massage Biz Help. Just click on the link in the description box below. See for yourself how we could help you grow your massage business. Go ahead and click on the link below. Remember to touch your market, you'll need to truly touch their lives.